Welcome to my project bazaar.com. We will discuss about the project enhancement of leach protocol using energy heterogeneity concept. Let me discuss about the abstract of the project. Advances in wireless sensor network technology has providing the readiness of small and low cost sensor nodes with the aptitude of sensing various types of physical and environmental surroundings. This is based on slanted election prospects of each node to become cluster head, conferring to the enduring energy in each node. The recreation result shows that the modified leach yields extended stability section for higher values of extra energy taken by more powerful lungs. The heterogeneous power protocol to prolong the time break before the death of the first node which is important for many tenders where the retort from the sensor network must be unfailing the sensors are self ruling small devices with several limitations like the battery power division capacity communication range and memory in this paper proposed a new data furthering processes access to be improved the lifetime of wireless sensor network using entities this will take more less energy in long reserve communication model results show that the protocol offer a better presentation each stochastic collection head range algorithm is prolonged by adjusting the threshold t considering these limitations simulation results shows that the proposed practice if one would better reduce energy eating and prolong lifetime of the wireless sensor network a GA is an efficient searching algorithm that mimics the adaptive evaluation process of natural systems. It has been successfully applied to many NP hard problems such as multiprocessor task scheduling optimization and traveling salesman problems. We propose here to apply a GA to the problem of finding optimum number of cluster head based on minimizing the communication consumption energy of all sensor nodes to efficiently maximize the network lifetime and to improve the stability period. Our modified protocol improves the stable region of the clustering hierarchy processes using the characteristics parameters of heterogeneity, namely the additional energy factor between advanced and normal nodes. Cluster head selection is randomly done and then take into account the additional energy factor between advanced and normal nodes of sensor node. Let me discuss about the program for our process. In the sensor deployment randomly phase, randomly deploy wireless sensor plays an important role in the quality of the methods used for data acquisition and signal reconstruction. Mathematically speaking, the estimation of the distribution of randomly deployed sensor can be related to computing the spectrum of random mode matrices with non-uniform entries. The randomness of the deployment of the sensor may have several reasons. For example, the case of practical interest is when wireless sensors are released from an airplane at fixed intervals that happen to land on the earth. The random positions for a given distribution of randomly deployed sensor, one would like to infer on the distribution of the sensor. The effectiveness of the DSM is determined to a large extent by the coverage provided by the sensor deployment. Positioning of sensor affects coverage, communication cost, and resource management. In this paper, we focus on sensor deployment strategies to maximize the coverage for a given number of sensors within a cluster and cluster based DSMs. Next, in the genetic algorithm simulation phase. Genetic algorithm or family of computational models inspired by evaluation. This algorithm encode a potential solution to a specific problem on a simple chromosome like data structure and apply the combination operator to this structure as well as to receive critical information. Genetic algorithm are often viewed as a function optimizer. Although the range of problems to which genetic algorithm have been applied are quite broad, an implementation of genetic algorithm begins with a population of chromosomes. One then evaluates these structures and allocated reproductive opportunities in such a way that these chromosomes, which represents a better solution to the target problem, are given more chances to reproduce than those chromosomes which are poorer solution. The goodness of the solution is typically defined with respect to the current population. The solution generated by the genetic algorithm is called the chromosome. While collection of chromosome is referred as a population, chromosomes composed of genes and its value can be either numerical, binary symbols or characters, depending on the problem one node is solved. Next in the leach protocol. Leach protocols plays an important role in the response to the uneven energy distribution that is caused by the randomness of the cluster heads forming. 
in the leach protocol first initially dead nodes are identified once the dead nodes are identified ignore the dead node and be processed further with the available alive nodes in leach protocol due to the randomness of cluster forming the energy of the cluster head is very different so as to the distance between cluster heads and the base station cluster heads are responsible only for sending data to the base station but also for collecting and diffusing the data from common nodes in their own clusters. In the process of data collection and transmission, the energy consumed by data transmission is greater than that of the data fusion. Note that for furthering increasing the number of nodes in the heterogeneous system and the area does improve the network life times considerably leach sketch heterogeneous system provides better performance in energy efficiency and the increasing level in net lifetime of the wireless sensor networks. We conclude that the heterogeneous wireless sensor networks are more suitable for real life application as compared to the homogeneous counterpart. Let me discuss about the running procedure for our process. Select the main dot M file in the current folder, right click the file and run for executing this process. This is the main window of the GA leach protocol. Here we need to enter the number of nodes to be deployed. By pressing the node deployment, we deploy the 100 nodes in the area specified. That is, width and height of the coverage area will be 100. And by pressing the target deployment, we deploy the target at the center position. And by pressing the genetic algorithm, we perform the genetic algorithm simulation process. This is the simulation tool for the genetic algorithm. Here we need to enter the fitness function. Here I use the fitness function in the name of uh, selection and the number of variables used in the fitness function is 1. Now by pressing the start button, we got the optimized value and after that we obtain the optimized value we, by pressing the cluster head button we perform the cluster head operation this window repeated for maximum number of iteration here the every cluster head will be performed and every cluster head collect the data from the member nodes and transform the data to the target which we have mentioned and this process will be repeated for maximum number of rounds and every rounds the dead node of the um, among normal nodes will be identified and ignore the dead node and we process only with the available alive nodes after completion of cluster head processes and dead node identification we analyze the maximum iteration level here the, uh, maximum iteration will be calculated for cluster head pause the transfer the data directly to the base station here the cluster head transfer the data to the base station through various number of cluster head this process will be executed for among all iterations this will take some time for executing here we obtain the maximum iteration for directly from the cluster head and through cluster head and by pressing the analysis button we got the energy level graph this is the graph between number of alive nodes and versus the number of rounds between normal leech and also GA leech and this is the graph representation between number of rounds versus number of alive nodes between normal leech GA leech and also GA intercluster leech and this is the graph between energy level for GA leach and also the normal leach. This is graph between energy level versus number of rounds for normal leach, GA leach and also GA intra cluster leach. After analyzing the energy level, we obtain the maximum number of network life 
Finally, the proposed an amend application of leach protocol based on energy heterogeneity and adjust it to genetic algorithm. It outperforms the previous protocol in terms of energy dissipation rate and network lifetime.